Welcome to another episode of Weld.com. We're going to start a series on pipe welding in all positions. We're going to start out with 2 inch schedule 80. Today is 5G. My fit up or my prep is to clean the inside of the pipe. We have removed a little mill scale out here, dressed up the bevel, and I put maybe a 30 second of land on it. Doesn't need it. I could go with a little heavier land, gap it open a little bit. There's all kinds of variations of fit here. So <clears throat> I have like a 1 16th gap and I'm using a 3 32nd filler wire I'm running off of an Everlast 161 STH today. I have it set to live arc, meaning this is electrically hot all the time. As soon as I touch the grounded material, the gas comes on, amperage comes on. I have this set at 105. I'm just leaving it, not running off the pedal or anything. So as soon as I strike the arc, we're going straight to 105. And my attempt here, coming off the bottom, is to strike the arc, lay the filler wire in there. I kind of like to, since it has a 1 16th gap, which is smaller than the filler wire, I kind of like to just put that in there and start, I like to roll the filler wire and kind of feel it feel that fluidity in there and watch the pool, watch the sides. If I get in trouble, like a keyhole opens up, I'll add more wire, try to keep going a little faster or maybe weave up onto the pipe wall. But again, I'm just, I'm just wanting to run this route in here for now. It goes pretty quick. I think a lot of times the uh, people don't pay attention to the, the tungsten angle and the rod angle. So get yourself comfortable. There's multiple ways to hold the torch. Three fingers, two fingers. You can use your thumb. Personally, I kind of like to use my thumb and come up here till I get about three o'clock. Set the cup in there and walk it the rest of the way. Let's hook a ground up. I'll get my hood on, we'll get to it. So <clears throat> my attempt, hey, notice I hooked my ground up here. You know, I would have tried it without it, but my attempt here, as a matter of fact, I will take the ground off for a second so I can explain this. I want to come in here and get comfortable and I'm going to put two fingers against the pipe. And when I strike an arc, I'm going to pause and get the puddle going a little bit. Put the wire on the leading edge. Since it's a 16th gap or smaller than the wire, I can kind of rest it on the leading edge here at the right angle. And I'm going to come up to probably about three o'clock. The height of my stand is a little tall, but no big deal. At that point, I am going to probably stop, adjust, and rest the cup in here and wiggle it the rest of the way till I get up here on top, make this tie in up here on my tack. I'm using two tacks today, one at the top, one at the bottom. They're half inch long tacks, so things shouldn't move around. So I want to heat the leading edge of my, my tack. I'm going to stay fairly tight down in the groove to make sure that that's hot. And I'm rolling the wire back and forth so I can feel it. Pushing on it slightly so I can kind of, I know that there's filler wire going in. At that point, I'm going to snap out of it. I left a little bitty keyhole. And from here, I'm going to try to rest the cup in here and wiggle it the rest of the way. It's just, it's just one of my methods. It feels comfortable for me and it works for me. I know there's other hand positions. I know there's other ways to manipulate the torch. Okay, I've heated this up. Little keyhole there. Okay, so I'm cruising along here thinking things are good. I got to a point where it was a little tight and I went to wash it back and forth to make sure I was breaking down the walls. Stuck my tungsten, so, you know, here's screw up number one. How do you fix it? 
because I had my wire stuck here, and so I just stopped, broke the arc, because I didn't have much of a choice at that point. So now I'm going to come in here with a cutoff wheel that's designed to do this kind of work, and I have a very tight gap. So I'm going to lightly clean this mess up that I made and feather this back a little bit. And now that I'm going to do that, I am also going to take care of my start on my tack. And then I'll have this prep and hopefully we can save it. Again, it's a common mistake. You guys know me well enough. You know, I'm coming along here and I just made the classic schmoo move and dove right into the bead. So, hey, it happens. I'm pretty comfortable with this. I have feathered this tack up here on the leading edge and I've taken care of my tungsten dip down here. I feathered it back into the good part of the bead. This is thinned out to it, it's just a burr. So again, I'm gonna start low into the bead here, not add any filler wire until I crawl up. This is gonna heat up and probably open up in a keyhole and that's where I'll interject the wire into the groove and try to keep right on going. So I've restarted my bead. It opened up immediately, so I'm going to back up a little bit. Introduce the wire. I'm kind of washing this keyhole around to make sure I got a good tie-in on the restart. Coming up on the tack, warming everything up, back up, add some wire, and keep right on going. Kept going until I made sure that that was washed in, I welded past where it jumped together. I want to make sure that I've got bead blended in there. So, almost ran out of filler wire. I got an inch in my fingers here, things were getting a little hot. Another common things that happen in the field on the job. Okay, that concludes the route. We're gonna clean this up and our next, uh, our next shot with this, we're gonna do the, the fill and cap. But again, to reiterate and, and uh, review what we did here is uh, again, multiple ways to hang on to the torch. I personally, and it depends on what's in my way, if there's anything in my way, I personally hang on to this put my thumb against the pipe till I come up here a little bit and then I rest the cup and gently give it a, a bit of a wiggle and a walk all the way up. Uh, you can put your fingers against the pipe. Same way, any way you brace and prop and come up, get comfortable, make sure you're not violating a, a good torch angle. You wanna keep your torch, you wanna reference the center of the pipe all the time leading angle slightly. Same thing with your filler wire. You want it on the leading edge of the pool. You want to be in control. So again, this is a small bore pipe. If it starts heating up, you may have to do a, you know, the TIG fingers or the heat pad or something. But again, it's all about comfort. You guys can do this. Uh, if I was going to do the other side, but we'll just reverse that. Put my switch hands to my right hand come up here and introduce the filler wire. Probably come up enough, rest the cup in there on the back side, or if there's room, might just come back over here and do it this way again. Multiple methods, some common things though. The tungsten angle into the center of the pipe and the filler wire. We're trying to put a root in, so we need to, we need to have that good melt where we're breaking the the pipe walls down and we're getting that filler wire so we can get some reinforcement in the pipe. So this is uh, the portion of the route that I did last. The rest of it's in there and broken down, but this is where the repair started and I went on up to the top. Just using a mirror and a flashlight to look inside for now. Really appreciate you watching Weld.com. Please subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram.